Good morning, Martinsians, and everyone out there in Puppet Land. Happy Friday, July 23rd, and we are continuing our crawl through the pop songs of the century, the last century, and today we're climbing all the way up down to 1943, and there's some interesting trivia that I'm going to start off with. Here are the songs that didn't make number one. Pistol Pack and Mama. You'll never know, dear, how much. I, that song was number three. I've heard that song before. It was number four. Uh, I Had the Craziest Dream was number five. That Old Black Magic was number seven. Uh, Taking a Chance on Love, what a beautiful song, was number 10. And the song As Time Goes By is number 11, even though it was actually the recording from the 30s that Rudy Valley did. They had to reissue it because of the popularity of Casablanca. Um, and there was a musician strike, so they couldn't re-record the song with anyone new, so they just replayed the old song from the 30s. I think that's hysterical. All right, the number one song of the year was Paper Doll. Paper Doll. And it was recorded and performed by the Mills Brothers. Now, Billboard will say, oh, that was the first black act that had a number one song, which is not true. That honor goes to Cab Calloway in 1931. But because that wasn't on, Mr. Calloway was not on the Billboard charts because they had not even been invented yet, he doesn't get to get that credit from Billboard. So Billboard, let's just, just pretend like, yes, sure, whatever. Billboard credits um, the Mills Brothers uh, as being the first black act to win uh, the top slot. And that's great. So Paper Doll, written in 1915 by a Tin Pan Alley writer named Johnny S. Black, who also was a boxer. Wrap your head around that one. And he wrote it because his girlfriend dumped him for another boxer. And this song now suddenly becomes literal. It's literally... <laughs> He's not kidding. So, but it's hysterical, and it's a great song. And thank you to the Mills Brothers for making this song a little less literal. <clears throat> I guess I've had a million dolls or more. I guess I've played that doll game before. I quarreled with Sue, that's why I'm blue. She's gone away and left me just like all the dollies do. I'll tell you boys, it's tough to be alone. And tough to love a doll that's not your own. I'm through with all of them. I'll never fall again, cause this is what I'll do. I'm gonna buy a paper doll that I can call my own. A doll that other fellows cannot steal. And then they're flirty, flirty guys with those flirty, flirty eyes. We'll have to flirt with dollies that are real. When I come home at night, she will be waiting. She'll be the truest doll in all the world. I'd rather have a paper doll to call my own than have a fickle-minded real live girl. <laughs> That was 1943. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow.